Hello and welcome to Jesse Bear Book Club. Today we are asking the question, who is Sarah Snow? Why is she important? And will we see her in season two of House of the Dragon? I believe we are definitely going to meet Sarah Snow in the second season of House of the Dragon. Sarah Snow is the bastard daughter of Lord Rickon Stark of Winterfell and the half-sister of Lord Cregan Stark, who is extremely important in the Dance of the Dragons towards the end. Sarah is also supposed to be the lover, and perhaps the wife, of the heir to the Iron Throne, Gisera's Valerion. We left off in Season 1 of House of the Dragon with Jace flying north to Winterfell and the Eyrie. And now I plan to read a quote from Fire and Blood about the events to come. We turn to Mushroom to find the tales other chronicles omit, nor does he fail us now. His account introduces a young maid, or a wolf girl as he dubs her, with the name Sarah Snow. So smitten was Prince Gisera's with this creature, a bastard daughter of the late Lord Rickham Stark, that he lay with her of a night, learning that his guest had claimed the maidenhead of his bastard sister, Lord Cregan became most wroth, and only softened when Sarah Snow told him that the prince had taken her for his wife. They had spoken their vows in Winterfell's own godswood, before the heart tree. Only then had she given herself to him, wrapped in furs amidst the snow, as the old gods looked on. My first question is, of course, who is watching them have sex? But my second question is, House of the Dragon is following Mushroom's history very closely. So I think there is a high probability we are going to see Sarah in season two. I also think the marriage is probably likely, as Gisera's never married his betrothed. Enter my second quote from Fire and Blood. Though Bela announced her intent to marry Jace at once, no wedding was ever held. Munkin says the prince did not wish to wed until the war was over, while Mushroom claims Gisera's was already wed to Sarah Snow, the mysterious bastard girl from Winterfell. After this quote, Sarah Snow is never mentioned again in the Fire and Blood Chronicle by any of the authors. The fact that Sarah Snow's first name is Sarah should not go unnoticed, as Sarah means princess, and we all know what great store George R. R. Martin loves to put on people's first and second names. I am also almost certain that Sarah and Jace had a child. This child would have been the first real joining of the Song of Ice and Fire, meaning that Jon Snow was not the first Stark Targaryen baby born. The question would be, what happened to this child? If it was a boy, I would not be surprised that he also joined the Night's Watch. History tends to repeat itself, both in our world and in the world of George R. R. Martin. This child could have gone north of the Wall and be the person Bloodraven took over from. It would also make sense because Cregan, Sarah's half-brother, marries a Blackwood, but I think I'm getting ahead of myself here. If the baby was a girl, perhaps she married into one of the lordly houses of the North, my bet would probably be the Karstark family. Either way, I think this is a plot that is going to play out during House of the Dragon, which we never got to see in the books. It would also mean more sexy time on screen, and we all know HBO love a bit of that. I have said before in previous videos that I think Ashara and Eddard are John's parents, but anything is still possible until Winds of Winter comes out, and the possibility of Sarah being in season two gets greater with every day that passes. Who do you think should play her? 
That is the only question really left because I do not doubt that she is going to be in this show. They might even kill her in childbed to make it as dramatic as they could, just like Leanna. It would also tie up the nasty thing of what actually happened to her and why does she disappear from the histories. If you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a like and you can subscribe for a lot more theories about A Song of Ice and Fire and historical fiction. You can also follow me on Instagram for some day-to-day -day life stuff, which is also extremely boring. So until next time, winter is coming. Help me rule over the tyrannical YouTube algorithm by liking this.